Okay, today's the day. We're finally going to see our house for the first time. The old residents are there waiting for us so they can show us a few things around the property, show us things with the tractor, how to work it because we don't know. Um, but we're so excited. It feels like a long time coming. It doesn't even feel real. It doesn't even feel like we bought the house. But very excited to get started with the work that needs to be done. Um, cleaning and pulling out the carpet in the bathroom, painting, all of that. And I like to work at things until things are done. So I feel like I'm going to be pretty stressed these next few weeks just trying to get it done in a fast pace. So we'll see. But exciting. We're here. I can't believe it. I mean, like, what? Huh? Who gave us a lake? God. Meadows. We're just walking the property right now, praying over it, every section. I guess we could start. Okay, so when you first walk in, you immediately see the living room with the gorgeous view of the lake. And then in the living room, there is a fireplace. Looks like they tried to do a little mini bar situation, bookcase. Um, and then there is another door here too, but they, you know, put blinds up. So can't necessarily see anything there, but there's a lot of potential in here, but it was built in the 70s. So it really just needs to be updated. And I guess it would be helpful if I, turn on the light huh? okay apparently this light does not go to this so let's see uh. okay well that didn't provide any additional lighting but yeah so this is the living room so if we actually back up i didn't show you guys this but the floors in here are original to the house they are terracotta I really don't know how I feel about those but I mean yeah that's what's here and then there's like a little foyer area where there's currently a mirror but if you come in and go to your left this is the dining room so in the dining room leads directly to outside again I like that this house has a lot of access to outside in every room so that's nice but there is carpet in the living room i mean in the dining room carpet throughout the house which i'm not too fond of but that once again that's what's here and then if you turn directly across this is i'm assuming like a eating nook where there's currently a carpet they left this for us the kitchen is really kind of a mess like look all of the double-sided um doors do not like that but that's what we're working with um so we plan like the the vision is to make this whole section into a kitchen so like take this middle section out and extend the kitchen all the way around maybe move the refrigerator over here as well but that's down the line um so for now we'll probably just do some cosmetic work i'm wondering if there are like um things going through there what is it called like pipes they go through there because if not i hate that soffit so would love to take that out and raise up the cabinets um, but once again like cosmetically we'll probably just paint in here um and you know just clean up a little bit but this is what the kitchen nook and kitchen look like I'll give you a better view of the kitchen here. So we do have double ovens, gas stove top, cabinetry. This is actually a trash compactor, which I don't know, we're not gonna use that. So that's like not useful for us. We have a dishwasher, the microwave is not built in, um, but eventually when we plan to expand, that is something that will be included as well. Um, then if you turn around, you have the 
uh, refrigerator, which is a nice refrigerator, nice and spacious. So I'll open it for you guys. Nice and spacious, I really like it. And then on the bottom, you have the freezer. So pretty fancy, I've never had a fridge that's that nice in my life. So that is nice. Um, terracotta floor goes to this um, step right here and then it turns into peel and stick tile. So we'll go back there next. On our left here is the pantry. I'll show you guys, but it's pretty simple. It's just a standard pantry. Um, my dream would be to like, see if we could knock this out into the garage so that we can have like a walk-in pantry versus just shelves here. But this is what we're working with. And then if you keep going, we, this leads to downstairs. You have a view of the outside once again, because that is the focal point. So every room on this side of the house has that view. And then this is what I'm talking about where you get into the peel and stick tile. So if you, if you can see, this is where the terracotta ends. And then we get into the peel and stick. And right off of the stair is a small powder bathroom. Really nothing to see here, but I mean, this is what it looks like. Oh. Yep. So that's what that looks like. And then if you continue on this way, there is the garage, which I will give you a look at. I love that the garage has a sink in it. And then directly here is the laundry room. So our washer and dryer come on Wednesday. So that's exciting. And then this door is a little linen closet, you know, storage place. So that's very useful to have in a laundry room. So I'm excited to have this a whole laundry room. That's very convenient for us. Um, turn around the other way. This is another door to the outside and then the basement. Um, but before we go to the basement, we'll go to the, the rooms in the house. So if you continue back through the kitchen and go past the foyer, this gets to all of the rooms in the house. And to our right, we have the first room. And the rooms are, I mean, they're pretty standard. It's just a shell. Um, there is no lights in here. So that's something that we'll have to do throughout the whole house. Um, but yeah, a pretty spacious bedroom. Um, you got the closets. There's a whiteboard in here already. Um, and we also plan to paint the whole house. So paint, um, paint the doors, everything. Everything's going to be white. So that'll be great once we get to that and if we come back out leads us to our next room which is on the left which is the bathroom the bathroom needs a lot of work there's carpet in there these lights the bathtub just not our style so we will be coming through and ripping all of this out this is gonna be our first project so plan on getting a new toilet a new vanity, a new bathtub, new shelves, paint. Um, so all of this will soon be updated. But this is what it looks like for now. So give you a better idea. And if you go out of the bathroom, continue. Caddy corner is our next bedroom. This house has four bedrooms. 
um, and two and a half bathrooms. Once again, a pretty standard room. Nothing to really look at here. Another closet and then a great view to the outside though. That is nice. Then we'll keep on going out of here. Here's another bedroom. I won't go in there because it's literally the same as the rest. And then here is the master. Not much of a master yet, <laughs> um, but there's a window. Here is the master bath. There's a, there's a linen closet here. That's pretty nice to have. Um, but yeah, this is the master bath. These lights got to go. Um, then you have the vanity, which I am not a fan of. This tile has to go. Uh, windows, and then you have a walk-in shower, which is not, it has to go too. But also, surprise, surprise, there is carpet in this bathroom as well, which we, this is something we'll tackle again. But we have big plans for this space too because eventually we want to like extend this whole master bath and bedroom to make it bigger. So either go out that way or use one of these bedrooms back here and go and build out that way so that we have more space for a more luxurious bathroom and bedroom since it is the, the primary one. So this is what it looks like for now. You have a walk-in closet that isn't too bad, actually. I mean, it's bigger than what we have in our apartment right now. So, shelving, and then we could probably put a dresser right here, have our his and her side. Um, propane tank out there, and then we have our AC unit. That's another thing that we plan to tackle pretty soon is getting central air out here um, and just kind of updating that piece of it. But there are sliding doors that lead you to outside, which is really, really nice. And then back into the living room and hallway there. So here's the view from the master bedroom. I'm sorry if this thing is super loud, but I mean, come on, look at this. Beautiful, serene, peaceful. We love it. We absolutely love it. Okay. So now I am going to take you guys to the basement and that will wrap up our tour of the inside. Carpeted stairs on the basement, um, wood paneling down here, which is, you know, very outdated. But one thing that is nice are these built-in shelves that they updated not too long ago. So that's pretty nice to have. Um, and then if you look, wood paneling throughout the entire basement. This is pretty nice too. A built-in storage room um, with a humidifier down there already ready to go. Turn on the light for you guys. So they left all of this furniture for us. It's not our style, but I mean, it's nice to have down here for now and then it just keeps continuing on it's a pretty spacious basement but as you can see it's very outdated so we'll just have to you know put our personal touch on it but for now the storage is really really nice um in here and with these two closets too and then here's our view to upstairs and outside all right so it is future me here back at our apartment um i forgot to film an outro so here we are um if you like today's video make sure to like comment and subscribe whatever you want we have a lot of work that needs to be done so a lot of videos to come um but i hope you enjoyed today's house tour and i'll see you next time